Alright guys, it's Delayla Dartal for short. Today I am building the ship in the bottle. 962 pieces, it shouldn't take more than a couple hours. It looks really cool. Cool design. Looks like it'll be fun to put together. I saw this build in a dentist's office actually, where I first found out about it, so, so I don't want to do it. We got the book, and we got a few, a couple pages of stuff. Yeah. Right, let's check this way this time, I don't want to drag the camera around. Meet the fan designer. You might not accept someone from Landlock, Idaho, USA to be a ship designer, but that's exactly what Jake Sadovich became when he submitted his ship in a bottle model to the LEGO Ideas website. A LEGO fan since before you can remember, Jake was inspired by an actual ship in a bottle that he had built a few years earlier when he decided to take on the challenge of recreating the famous combination of artwork and puzzle in LEGO brick form. How did it feel when Jake's model reached uh, the magic number of 10,000 votes for consideration as an official LEGO set? Awesome and kind of strange. Excitement at reaching the hundred tick, the 10k mark, and in just 48 days. A great feeling of satisfaction that so many people like my creation and gratitude that they took the time to support it and make this happen. Jake's advice for other Lego builders who want to create a successful Lego project idea: just build the things that you enjoy building. I built this just to see if I could. If it was only after I posted it and received lots of positive feedback that I even dreamed of submitting it to Lego Ideas. Uh, meet the model designers. <coughs> Helping to turn Jake's idea into an official set was a meaningful project for Lego model designer Tiago Catrino. Catarino. I found out soon enough that making a Lego ship in a bottle must be just as challenging as doing it in real life. However, I enjoyed every step on the, of the way and was very excited to be part of the project. Ships in the sea mean a lot to me, as historically speaking, the Portuguese were one of the great maritime explorers back in the 15th and 18th century. Excuse me, 15th and 16th centuries. I was really inspired by Jake's original submission and tried as much as possible to keep the details that made his ideas such a huge success on the Lego Ideas website. There was room to do some crazy building techniques and sneak in some elements in cool colors, as well as bringing back some really old ones that we hope the fans will enjoy. Lego graphic designer Mark Tranter had a nostalgic experience too. It was great working on the new sail. We wanted it to resemble the flag that Jake used in his model with the old Lego castle lion emblem, so it was a lot of fun designing a sea monster with this look in mind and trying to give it a classic Lego feel, but with a more modern Lego style. I'm very happy with it. Uh, and we just got the same thing in a couple different languages, and that's all in the book. As always, I'll have pictures of it up on my DeviantArt, links will be down in the description like, comment, subscribe, whatever and whatever time you're watching, have a good day, good night, whichever let's get to it
right there is the ship in the bottle. Not a bad build. Kind of interesting how you get just the loose studs as the water. That looks good. Very nice display piece. Never put together an actual ship in a bottle, but it's pretty cool. You got a compass down here. You got your globe, a couple of globes. Apparently, the ship is called Leviathan. Have a ship in the bottle. And as always, you see. Oh, I underestimated how overestimated how long it was going to take. It's about an hour and 50 minutes. As always, if you like, if you like, comment, subscribe. And whatever time it is, have a good day, good night, and whatever it is. Bye.